We've previously talked about the different states of matter. We know that solid, liquid, and gas have very different properties. So let's explore that for just a minute. Solids are organized uh, in different fashions. We can have crystalline solids where they're highly organized. We can have random solids that aren't organized at all. But they all exhibit the characteristic that unless they're ground into a powder so that they can flow, that solids don't conform to a container. All right, so we need to think of solids as having a higher level of organization than a liquid or a gas. One of the things that's true about a solid is that it's gonna transfer force in a different manner than a liquid or a gas because a solid, imagine a, a bar of iron. When I press on that bar of iron, the iron's gonna transmit the force in the direction of the force only. It doesn't do anything in the non-direction of the force. Whereas if I take a liquid and I put this liquid in a box, all right, now that imagine, if you will, that I attach a pump to this and I increase the pressure of that liquid. That pressure of the liquid is going to be put on every wall of this box. So one of the characteristics of liquids is that when I apply a force in one area of the liquid, if it's contained within something, that force is going to be applied in all directions from the liquid. The same thing is true of a gas, but there's a difference. Many liquids exhibit a non-compressibility. That is, that the density of the liquid doesn't change with pressure difference. All right, so this is the principle that allows hydraulics to work is that if I apply a pressure in one area of the liquid, that that pressure is distributed throughout the liquid that is contiguous, and that I can apply a pressure on a small cylinder, and that pressure will be magnified on a large cylinder. So that's a characteristic of liquids, is that many liquids do not change density, therefore their volume doesn't change as pressure is increased. Whereas with a gas, if I have a gas in a cylinder with a piston, this gas, as I perform work on it, I can increase the pressure and decrease the volume. So as I increase the pressure in the gas, the volume goes down. So we have to think about the different characteristics of matter based upon whether it's a solid, a liquid, or a gas.